NFL execs don't hold back on Michigan QB J.J. McCarthy. Could J.J. McCarthy end up being the best quarterback to come out of the 2024 NFL draft class? Now, I just read something that the Chargers, so that's Jim Harbaugh's team, and Mm -hmm. the Raiders, I think, might be competing for the same quarterback from the – an SEC quarterback, and I didn't catch his name, who they were talking about. But I find that interesting, though. That was in a mock draft, and I don't Mm -hmm. know. I guess I've never really followed these mock drafts to figure out how much weight they carry or if they're just basically (laughs) guessing. But I would have thought that J.J. McCarthy would be at the top of Harbaugh's list. It'll be, I think it'll be interesting if if Harbaugh doesn't go for J.J., but then again, he might not even get the chance. Yeah, no, he might not get the chance, but like, I don't think that um, – where is he going? The Chargers. I don't think that the Los Angeles Chargers need a quarterback either, though. So okay. I don't know what their quarterback depth situation looks like, but they've got Justin Herbert as their starter, and he's a good quarterback. He is reliable. He he can get them to a Super Bowl if he's got um, – if they if they build up the team around him a little bit. The, so I guess what I'm thinking is I don't I don't think that the Chargers really need a quarterback too right now because I mean yeah Herbert is good Herbert is also young so he's still got some time left um, so now is not really the time to find a a replacement for him if they need a backup then maybe that's something to consider the thing is is that JJ is of the caliber that I don't think he wants to be a backup I think he knows that he can be a starter maybe not necessarily year one but certainly he should go to a team where he could potentially be the starter within the next three to four seasons so I'm thinking like how old is Kirk Cousins I think he's a bit up there how old is um he's got oh, the 30 now 32 32. So he might have a few seasons left. Mm -hmm. Um, The quarterback at Seattle, the Seattle Seahawks. Mm, Can't remember his name, Um, but he's he Geno Smith. I think it's Geno Smith. Um, I believe he's a little bit older, too. So that might be something to think about. Maybe he goes to a team like that where the quarterback is older, but still has a few years. He could learn the ropes and all that and then take over as a franchise quarterback because JJ is going to be a, that type of quarterback. He's just, he's not going to be a backup. That's just, true? that's sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was just, I, I was just going to hammer that home. He's not going to be a backup. So you yeah. can't draft him thinking that he's going to be QB two for more than three or four seasons at most. I get a little worried because I look back at uh Rudak. Yeah. Yeah, Rudock. He was the Harbaugh's first year, wasn't he? Yep. And um, he had that fantastic season and ends up on the practice team. I don't know where he is now. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> but <clears throat> but when they're talking about McCarthy, let's see. So they got a uh, good quarterback in the uh, draft class. McCarthy played three seasons at Michigan. Most important, McCarthy led the Wolverines to a national championship. Yeah, he did. Uh, McCarthy typically isn't even viewed as a top three or four guy, but LSU's Jaden Daniels and Washington's Michael Penix Jr., who just lost the national championship, are generally <laughs> ranked ahead <laughs> of McCarthy on most draft boards, and Oregon's uh, Bo Nix gives McCarthy a run for his money on some lists, too. Yeah. There seems to be a great, if not likely, chance that McCarthy falls to the second round, so whoever nabs him may be getting a steal. Yeah. And then we get some of McCarthy's stats. The uh, sophomore year, 2022, totaled uh, 2,719 yards, 22 touchdowns, five picks, while completing 64.6% of his throws. Man, that's that's something <clears throat> I didn't think about. So in his uh, from his second year to his first year, excuse me, he threw – so in his second year, in 2022, he threw five picks on how many passes? Does it say? I can't remember. Uh... No, whatever anyway right he so not as many as 2023 for sure so he threw five picks in 2022 and then what doubled his the amount of pass attempts in 2023 and threw even fewer interceptions i mean he got yep. he got really good <laughs> i mean he made some crazy <laughs> throws in 2023 too the reason though i mean first off Jaden daniels is ranked ahead of jj mccarthy right now because he just won the heisman Mm-hmm. So that makes sense. The guy, Jaden Daniels is 
incredible. He is the reason why LSU LSU's offense is the reason why they won as many games as they did this season. Their, their defense was historically bad. I'm not going to blame the players. I'm going to blame the coaching, the coaching. Brian Kelly needs to get that figured out. Okay. Um, Michael Penix, he's ranked ahead of JJ because Washington was a very pass heavy offense. I think I'm pretty sure that's the case. He certainly threw the ball a lot more than JJ did because I mean, obviously it's Michigan. Michigan's going to be balanced at best, if not lean run. So JJ is not going to get as much of a chance to show off his arm as Michael Penix does. But the thing was, is that JJ looked as good as he did. He put up the kind of tape that he did despite that. So if you, if you, if you want to get JJ, then you're getting a quarterback that absolutely can throw the ball when necessary, but doesn't mind playing in a system that's balanced. So you're getting a team player. You're getting a leader. You're getting a, mm -hmm. a good game manager, but also a guy who, when the football's in his hands, he's going to make it happen. He's going to win you football games for sure. Yeah, I think that's going to be critical, the fact that he's a team player. He can pull these guys together. The only the only drawback there is it, that in, in, in college, those guys want to play. There's no – there's – well <laughs> – I guess maybe NIL now changes that, but typically there's no question of, you know, money changing people's minds and attitudes. So, you know, yeah. you get into the NFL and all of a sudden you don't get a team, you get a bunch of prima donnas, you know, cash on a paycheck and it's much harder to pull a team together, but obviously yeah. it does happen. The lions just did it this year. Um, uh, San Francisco and, and those guys have done it, are mm -hmm. doing it. So it can be done. Um, it'll be interesting to see, how JJ can pull that together. Now I, you know what? And you know, we, we read all this stuff on YouTube on how to do these live streams and that, and we forgot to ask anybody out there watching, I uh, <laughs> throw up in the chat there. Where do you think McCarthy will land in the draft? Do you think he will be first round, second round, third round? Where do you think he's going to end up? Let us know, throw it in the chat and we can talk undrafted. about it undrafted, undrafted, <laughs> undrafted. Well, okay. So, okay. So while people were trying to figure out what, what round he should be in, mm -hmm. I need to understand a little better what what does it matter if they're first round, second round, or third round? Because as we know, Tom Brady was not first round, and he is the greatest yeah. quarterback of all time. So does it money. really matter? Okay, money. So it's money. if you're in first round, you get to ask more money. Well, yeah, you're you're if you're a first round pick, you're obviously way more in demand than But only yeah, at that you're, point. You're worth more. Well, yeah, absolutely. It's it's a risk for sure. Right. There are busts all the time. I mean, the the number one overall player, it's it's national news when he either busts or booms. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I oh, my gosh. Was Baker Mayfield a number one overall pick? Oh, I, I can't know. remember if it was Baker Mayfield, but I think Baker Mayfield was like a top 10 pick, at least a first rounder. Um but he, I mean, he busted at the first couple of teams that he went to, and now he's in Tampa, and, and he's playing extremely well. So, I mean, there's something to be said for the system that you're you're drafted into. But sure, I mean, you can take the, the player number one overall, and he can turn out to not be so good. I mean, there are some right. kids that are amazing in college, and they just they get to the pros, and it doesn't work out. I mean, whether that's because of their skill set not translating or if it's because they're not in the system that they need to be in, that's just how it works. Right. So yeah, it's a risk for sure. All right. Yeah. Now what okay, so then one of the things I, I read that could hold McCarthy back mm -hmm. is the fact that he's he's what, six four, two hundred pounds, six five, two hundred pounds? Yeah. He's a little scrawny. Yeah, so he's a little scrawny scrawny for his height. <clears throat> yeah. And in professional football and in the NFL, he's gonna take a lot harder of a hit than he would in college football. So he's gonna yeah. need to put on some weight. He's gonna need to put on some muscle. Yeah. How much of a factor? When when is the draft? That comes up in a couple of weeks now, isn't it? Uh, April. April. I think it's April. Okay. Yeah. So he doesn't have a whole lot of time. When is the combine? The combine's coming up here, isn't it? That's what I thought. Uh, uh, hang on, I can do this. All right. NFL so if, combine twenty twenty. The combine. I mean, if he's got to put on that weight before the combine, uh. Although I guess you could say that uh, 
they they could pick him up and then immediately put him into training because they don't have to they're obviously not going to start playing until September or August. You get the mm-hmm. preseason in August. So he's got uh would you say it was in April is the uh is the draft? Yeah. So for so he'd have 4 months to uh put on some weight. 2 months, less than 2 months. It's so February. No, April. I mean I don't I don't know that he has to have the weight put on by April. Oh, okay. I mean, like in April when they pick him up, they could say, okay, you know, McCarthy, we're picking you up, but you need to put on 20 pounds and you'll have to do that before August. Okay. I was like, do you know what what day it is, dude? (laughs) No, I don't actually. I don't know what day it is. Setting up this freaking stream was just so traumatic. It was. (laughs) But uh, actually, so the the combine starts on February 29th. And okay. it goes until March third. So that's that's coming up here soon. Yeah. At any rate, what do you think? What what dra- what round do you think he'll go in? Uh, I have so no I, idea, to be honest. I I really it, that's what I'm saying. It it doesn't make yeah. any sense to me as far as which one they end up in. Well, so not every team needs a quarterback, and so it, I think the number of teams that are really like in need of a quarterback um, are few and and far between. This mm-hmm. this season, anyway, um, and I think now, that Michael. Okay. Wait a minute, though. Hold that thought. Isn't what? it the worst team in the NFL gets the first round pick? Yeah. Well, so, theoretically, would... unless they traded their pick. Okay. Yeah. But if they needed a quarterback, okay. So then I guess we'll see if the the worst team decides to trade their pick. Because if they don't, then that's probably because they want a quarterback. Maybe. I mean, or, (laughs) or they want, you know, someone on defense or, I mean, defensive players go first round too. And, and well, yeah, you know, other, yeah. I don't know how often a non quarterback player goes number one overall, but I'm pretty sure it's actually more often than you think. All right. Um, But yeah, I mean, so I I don't think that there are a lot of, and again, I don't watch a ton of NFL. The lions just got good. So, well, actually I've been watching the lions for, since Jim Swartz, so I shouldn't even say that. I was going to say, you've been watching him for a while. I've been, you're, I've been watching him for a while, yeah. You're a good fan. Yeah, yeah, they've been breaking my heart for a while, but, you know, <laughs> they've got good now, so we're good. Anyway, um, <laughs> but as far as the rest of the teams go, I don't think a lot of teams need a quarterback, and Michael Penix and Jaden Daniels are probably going to get drafted before McCarthy. So I see McCarthy being a late first rounder, but I do see him being a first rounder. And I know that there are a lot of rumors that JJ McCarthy is flying up draft boards because of his performance um, or not necessarily because of his performance, but because teams are kind of looking more into his intangibles. So he doesn't exactly have the best tape because he didn't need to do a lot this season, but the tape that he does have, is really good <laughs> i mean he's he's got some really good throws and some really good decision making skills all right I, so, yeah. i'm yeah i'm interested to see where he ends up because like i yeah. said you know the your best players don't always go in the first round so right that'll be interesting this is true. it will be Sam Hartman's looking downfield for Adrian oh! Burner almost has a one-handed catch. Almost. 